Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you the layout for our cabin that we're building out in the forest. Um, we're going from about 3,200 square feet down to around 1,100 square feet. And this is just a general layout. I designed every square inch of it myself and my husband and my family are uh, building it ourselves. Um, no debt, anything like that. But this is just a general layout. Um, it started out we were just going to use the old hunting cabin that was originally on the property and just build a room on the back of it and use it as a tiny house until we built a larger home. But then we decided to just keep expanding on the front. And uh, the master bedroom, which you'll see in a minute, was the uh, original cabin that was there. And the room behind it where you see the washer and dryer and the dog crate, that was the room we were going to build a kitchenette and a tiny bathroom onto. So, um, here is a 3D model of it, and it's not a huge home, of course, but we're downsizing, which is part of our purpose of doing this, and um, it was a lot of fun designing the home. It was, um, it was, you know, a challenge, but you can kind of see the overview of it, and again, where you see the big bed back there, <clears throat> that was the, um, the original hunting cabin that was on the property. So... Um, that's more of just the overview. It is one bathroom. Um, they're the orange and white and gray room. That's the living room, uh, dining area. And in the front there in the yellow, that's the children's room that we built with the bunk beds. We have a front porch there, a small entryway. And then, of course, there's the great room. I even managed to fit my beloved dining room table there in the eating area. And I was really pleased about that. I'm grateful I can get that in there. That's my favorite piece of furniture. And um, as you can see coming up here on the bottom right there, that's our tiny little kitchen. But it actually will be very functional. It has everything I need. I'm not going to have a dishwasher or anything like that. I don't even have a dishwasher now. It's been out of order for over a year. And we haven't even bothered to get it fixed. And right there on the right, that's my huge pantry. Um, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. I put that there on purpose because I do store a lot of food and I really need that space to also put the supplies that I use to make our bath and body goods. And that's the original cabin there and we're just making that into our master bedroom. It is um, 15 by 13 and we were just going to make that a, a, you know, a sleeping area and living room and build onto the back of that which you will see in our original video right there is where we were going to build onto the back. And we were just going to put a tiny little kitchenette and a small bathroom back there and just live in that until we built a larger home on the lot. But it didn't work out that way. We just started expanding on the front there. We built this front porch and the room to the left of it as the children's room. And um, coming in the front door here, which you'll see in a second, uh, you just see the children's room door and on the left is a tiny coat closet. When you look off to the right, you'll look into the great room. Those stairs there you'll see in just a minute, but that's the tiny little kids' room. It's a little bunk room, and we are going to have a loft on the top of the great room area, which you would also see in our other video um, for them to play in and all of that. Now, those stairs right there, I'm going to show you an actual clip in a second of the stairs we're going to be using that go up to the loft, but on the app that I used to design it, I had to use those to represent these, these stairs right here. Um, it's kind of like a ladder shelf and we're going to put some black pipe on the side there and um, to aid in climbing for the kids and honestly for me too. But there's the living area and I just used on the app um, furniture that basically looks like ours now because I'm trying to use everything that we already own. Just scale it down. There, that represents the wood cook stove that we just bought off of Doug and Stacy, and that's the dining area there. You'll see where my table will be and all of that and that's another side view of the living room dining area and that's where you enter into the kitchen and I will have plenty of cabinet space I'll have plenty of room for my fridge over there um, a nice farmhouse sink and um, I'm debating on what size stove to use still we haven't put our cabinets in that represents the pantry that I was speaking about earlier and of course, you can't find everything on the app that's going to look the way it is, but basically it's going to be a lot of shelves on the right, cabinets and countertop on the left. And that represents where we go into the bathroom and where the wood cook stove will be. And there's our little bathroom, and there's where our little composting toilet will be. 
and we are just going to have a regular tub and shower enclosure but it again was not on the app. That's where I'm going to put the uh, barn door and it's actually going to slide on a rail and there's the old hunting cabin that we're using for the master bedroom. Luckily it did fit our king size bed, dresser and chest nicely and um, it looks out onto the forest as well with the window at the left which is just a beautiful view. And this is where you walk into the laundry room and family closet. This is where um, if we need to go out or something, Ruby will be sleeping. And this is where we will keep all of the family's clothing all in one nice little room. And it will be a lot easier to do the laundry and keep everyone's clothes in one spot. So I hope you enjoyed this. I, I do take pride in the fact that I did design all of it myself. Um, we're probably about a month and a half, two months before we'll be ready to put the finishing touches on. But uh, we're getting there. And thanks so much for watching.